Welcome to the Last Mile Profits video cast, the last word on the last mile. The CWU and Royal Mail have finally come to an agreement in the UK. Is this going to save the UK postal operator? Find out after this. Modern Expo provides an integral ecosystem of screen operated lockers, screenless autonomous solutions, refrigerated lockers, and even personal parcel lockers powered by an in house developed software. Well, I'm here at Logimat in Stuttgart, a big intra logistics fair. There's a lot of parcel and post activity going on here as well, I have to say, a lot of last mile stuff. I'm on the uh, Alstef Group stand. They're a provider of sortation systems. So thank you for them uh, for hosting me today. Marek, Marek, let's turn our thoughts to the UK and Royal Mail. The situation there, it seems like it's reached resolution. I can't believe it. Absolutely, Peter. It's a bit of a roller coaster, isn't it? Because only a few days ago, we were talking about the company going to some form of administration. And now it looks like the communications workers union has actually done a deal with the management. It's incredible. Have you got the highlights of the deal? Do you want me to push through them? Well, headline is 10%, isn't it? And that's uh, for, uh, you know, over the next three years. So I think that's, um, that feels like a win for the, uh, for the workers there. But uh, actually, interestingly, underneath that, there's um, sort of a host of, of uh, changes which Royal Mail wanted to introduce. It looks like they're kicking that can up the road. Absolutely. So, so there's the 10% plus a £500 lump sum, which is not to be scoffed at. There are several other points. So first of all, every single allowance remains. Uh, I presume that that means that all the, the current allowances that, that posties and, and other roles within the organisation they will maintain... There's something big in the sense that 20% of any future profit, future profit, let's hope they make it, will be delivered in a lump sum payment to, I'm not sure what a frontline worker is, I presume that's supposed to be, and the, the guys and girls who are, who are really making it happen. The one that worries me a little bit is the next one, which is that network changes are going to be pushed back until 2024 and other restrictions on an ability to flex up in terms of the organization so later starts are restricted up to a maximum of 60 minutes in some extreme cases raw mail will be able to do that uh, up to 90 minutes you know i would say whatever happens it's great peter that they've come to an understanding my concern is that while in the short term this may appear to be good news for the workers in the long run if this means that the company is not going to be competitive it's not going to be a great deal long term for any of the stakeholders the stakeholders being the employees the british public the organization as a whole or am i being unfair peter i don't know i think you've got a valid point there you know this uh, this behemoth needs to be kind of kicked and dragged into the 21st century and it is based very much on on historic practices historic work patterns and again, you know, looking around here, looking at the technology, it's kind of not how the world works anymore. You know, we're all we're all moving forward. We're all looking forward. So I think your concerns are well placed, Marek, particularly around whether they can remain competitive, uh, you know, going forward. Thank you for watching the Last Mile Profits video. For more free analysis of the Last Mile, please like, follow and subscribe below to ensure you are notified every time we upload new content.